To God be the glory. Father, we thank you for the reality of your word. We thank you for the testimony your word has produced. We thank you for the results. We thank you so much the good the word of God. Father, be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I say it again, you are blessed. I want you to know Wonders Chapel is different from other churches. Praise the Lord. In the sense that Wonders Chapel lives. We live in the achieved work of Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Most churches, they are living by their own forces, by their own abilities. Some, they believe in Jesus, but they are not living in the achieved work of Christ. And that is why I don't want you to just compare us to any other church. I want you to compare us to Bible, Bibeli. majorly, Lord, back or not? the writing of Paul's. Compare this assembly to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have some assembly. They are based on the writings of the prophets. Some are based on the doctrines and the practice of the Jews. Wonders Chapel is not like that. We are going to have some churches. They said they believe in Christ. But what they believe and what they preach is psychology and human philosophy. They are more or less motivational speakers. But Wonders Chapel is different. And why am I saying this? I'm not just marketing wonders chapel to you. I want you to have the mindset of the teachings and the lifestyle here. Praise the Lord. If you follow us on the series, God never changed. I know your mindset will have changed. Praise the Lord. Because some of us, when circumstances change, our life normally change at first. Praise the Lord. Possibly there's a change in government. Are you getting it now? You discover that the life of people now change based on that circumstance and it change negatively. In this church, it is not like that. Today we are starting a lesson. Wisdom of God is beyond limitation. I repeat, wisdom of God is beyond limitations. Jesus is the living wisdom of God. Bible is the written 
wisdom of God. When you speak the word of God, you are speaking the wisdom of God. How many of you noticed that it rained, it's about, it rained this morning? When it was raining, it doesn't cost me prayer. What I said, is that all things shall work together for today's service. And I was telling my wife that when you finish like that, there will be some. Praise the Lord. I was speaking based on the word of God. Because the word of God doesn't change. Only circumstances is bound to change. Praise the Lord. You know some people when they retire, all the blessings they are left like retired. And it's not like that. It, you just left your job. You have not left God. Oh, God has not left you. Praise the Lord. If you remember, at the beginning of this year, I told the church our goal. And I said, we are committed to raising up Christians. We are to raise Christians who will not be limited by circumstances or situations. How many of you still recollect? If you look at the word now, the wise, the so called wise, are becoming foolish. Let me tell you, in the lockdown, a lot of people lost their business. Praise the Lord. And at the same time, the lockdown raised some people up. Do you agree with me? The wisdom of God cannot be limited by circumstances. And I, want to, I want to pick my teachings, my uh, reference from the book of Romans chapter 4. In your private crusade, you can start reading from verse 14 to the end. But I want to read from the book from verse 18. 18. Romans 4, 18. Who against hope believe in hope that he might become the fathers of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Nibati ire tiko si, ene ti ok bagbo ni ire ti tiko, ti o le di baba ori. Nibati ire tiko si, ene ti ok bagbo ni ire ti, ki o le di baba ori le de kupo, ya gebi e yi ti a wi, pe pa yi ni ru oman re yi o ri. Praise the Lord. En yon lua. 19 fast, the 19th one. Verse 19. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about 100 years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Praise the Lord. What is our topic? Hmm? Wisdom of God is beyond limitation. Every child of God that has one limitation or the other, your limitation is not from God. Your limitation is based on change environment, change circumstances, possibly the change in the channel by which you get money. Praise the Lord. And if you focus the circumstances, you will make God a liar. Because you will doubt his promises. I repeat. When you focus the circumstances, hello. 
When you focus the circumstances, you will make God a liar. Because you will doubt his promises. All over now. Some churches have turned into prayer points. What is it? Talking about the children that are not going to school. And they now start praying. The spirit that is wasting the time of our children. They've turned it to prayer points. What is the cocoa dra? It is your foolishness that limited you. In this lockdown, some some schools are conducting graduation. They are doing their lectures. They are doing tests. One say Praise the Lord. It is you that is in no school style. In this lockdown. Some, some children have learned some tricks. Some have started handing money by themselves. This lockdown. And somebody who is focusing circumstances. No school, no school. He consider it as a disadvantage. Some people are not even praying. They are not praying that the school should return to normal classroom. They said they prefer the online. Praise the Lord. How many of you know that some people are selling online? Praise the Lord. Without seeing each other. Amen. Amen. And money is entering some people's bank account. But because somebody has focused, the lockdown. The lockdown, the lockdown, it becomes limitation to that person. Every limitation that we ever limit you permanently is a matter of perspective. If you change your perspective and you go to the word of God, you will be lightened. Oh, you will be lightened. You will be lightened. Psalm 118, verse 86. Psalm 119, verse 18. Psalm 119, Open down my eye that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, necessity is the mother of invention. Praise the Lord. When things become compulsory. Praise the Lord. Another discovery comes. Oh, ring cut to me now. Praise the Lord. And you lua. The Bible say in Roman four eighteen. Be belly so you know where Rome worry can yes a kid. Against hope. Ni lo disiriti. No more hope. Cause iriti mo. The way it is currently in the world. On to wa ni le lori le de loni. No la ba loni. The way it is currently in the world. On to wa lori lori le ni bokwa ba ye loni. A lot of countries lost hope. Oh, a lot of countries they lost hope. But there is still hope. There is still hope. A lot of people have lost hope. Oh, a lot of countries they lost hope. But there is still hope. There is still hope. But what kind of hope? Can you read it? You read it. This hope come from the word of God. You read it. You want to know what all alone? Because God has spoken. God is alone. This sorrow. Before the lockdown, before Corona virus. He said all things shall work together for your good. Unless you don't love God. The Bible says, and this we know. That all things work together. For the good of people that love God. And are called according to his purpose. What some people, some of you may need to do. Is to repackage your business. Just repackage it. Just change the mindset. They say you should not go out. Possibly now require that you have a means of sending it. Praise the Lord. How many of you know now that academic applications 
Online teachings. Gadget for training online. How many of you know it's a booming business now? Audio lectures on CD, on DVDs. It's now selling fast. But before the corona, their market is not moving. Praise the Lord. So parents are not looking for somebody who will teach alphabet into CD and they give it to their children start watching. April 2019. had everything to limit him. Abraham The way you had. The way you have. Abraham had. What was the circumstances of Abraham? Two things. Abraham was old. Abraham The wife was equally old. And physical fertility was disappeared. But the Bible says against just hope. He did not believe in hope. That second hope is the wisdom of God. And that is the wisdom that handles limitations. I was meditating second king Chapter 6, verse 17. Where Elisha prayed for his servant and said, Lord, open his eyes. The servant said, Lord, my, I'm done. We are done. Because the soldier surrounded the place. Elisha said, Lord, open his eyes. Elisha said, Lord, open his eyes. You know the miracle God told me there. God told me, Do you know Giasi was not blind? That is, he was not physically blind. But he was mentally blind. The circumstances have blinded a lot of us. The circumstances of this country has blinded some people. Blinded some graduates. Blinded some undergraduates. And they lost hope. It's not you alone. Including some professionals. They said some doctor now are trapped in abroad. They said they should come, they will give them certain salary. When they get there, it's not what they expected them to be. So they are trapped over there. Circumstances has affected our people. Your circumstances come primarily to blind you to God opportunities. I'm telling you, it came primarily. Your home may be hedge. Are you getting it now? Your home may be heights. Possibly you are not tall enough. Are you getting it now? So you are Your home may be one disability. But if you are, if you keep on focusing that so thing, it will come to blind you to opportunity around you. Praise the Lord. But the wisdom of God, which is the word of God, is beyond circumstances. It can do, it can do any circumstances. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, poverty. It's not necessary absence of money. Poverty is absence of idea. When you I don't have direction, when you don't know what to do, you are poor. Somebody say, what, what is the pastor saying? Are there no people who so have money, who have money, and they don't know how to multiply Praise the Lord. We have people, they have 100,000. 200,000. He doesn't know what to do with it. This one will come and borrow 20 from me. This one will come and borrow 40 from me. This one come and borrow 60 from me. He doesn't know what to do. And it's still poor. Some of them will borrow and return. Some will never return. If they keep on coming to you to borrow, 
Why not say when you are coming, bring 10% on it? Praise the Lord. Gradually, you are starting your own bank. Praise the Lord. When you are coming, bring interest on it. Because I'm giving you money to start your business. Amen. Amen. Your circumstances, when you focus it too much, it blinds you. Yo, for Oloju, only the word of God open your eyes. Yo, la, Oloju. And that's why you, you keep always go there. In conclusion, Nibari. the book of John, Iwejuanu. chapter 1, verse 4 and 5, 6. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. He now said the light shines in darkness. When you have light, you are wise. What did I say? When you have light, you have what? You have wisdom. When you have light, you are wise. You know what to do. You know the next thing. Let me tell you. The wisdom of the world is failing. The wisdom of the world yeah. is failing. When Corona started, China, Chinese, they did a gigantic hospital within six days. It, it, it never successful in solving their problem. Go and Google for it. This man to They were disappointed. But from finding out, Nenu. They find out what to worry that the train is still in their town. But they never they never shout about it again. They are not giving any data on it. We have some Nigerian and Indian who are living there. When you read their writings, some of them now when they see the symptom. Let me tell you, the Bible says God used a small thing. To destroy big things. When they see it now, they take ketu hot tea. You know the when they say, I say ketu hot tea. The way you are bringing it down, the way you are taking it. And the level of death reduces. It's still there, but you are not hearing about it. Simple things. They think it's medical style or this thing that will do it, but they fail. Any of you that circumstances circumstance has blinded you, I command the light of God to shine in your heart. Elisha pray for his servant. Say, God, open his eyes. I pray God open your eyes. In the name of Jesus. The stronghold of your circumstances in your mind. They are put on in the name of Jesus. You have just prayed for favor. The favor is around you. You see it. You embrace it. You receive it. In the name of Jesus. God is using this period to expand your horizons. To expand your horizons. To expand your horizons. In the name of Jesus. God is using this season to open your heart. You see beyond limitation. Because Jesus is your wisdom, your finances is no longer limited. Pray that prayer for yourself. I refuse a life that is limited to money because my abundant life is Jesus my abundant life is Jesus I refuse a life that is limited to material things because I'm blessed with those spiritual blessings in heavenly places and I command all forces to start working together for your good all forces are working for your progress for your marriage for your finances, for your business, for your heart, in the name of Jesus. Tell two or three persons the wisdom of God is working in me. In Jesus.